Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is Nikki here. I know I look weird. I basically have a 90s cartoon beard going on. I felt a little bit creative right now. It is 3 o'clock in the morning and I've been filming this look for 11 hours now. I guess I wanted to sit down and just kind of play and then I've got towards the end and I thought let me just show you guys how I do it let me finish the look off on camera and then just share, share this look with you guys as well so if you want to see how I kind of created the character or what steps I go through to create this character in particular but then how I've done all the other characters then I guess just keep on watching okay so as you guys can see I'm I've gone a little bit cray cray this is 10 hours in we have the majority of our characters but I haven't put any foundation and I haven't got anything on my eyes and then we've got Gerald from Hey Arnold just here so I just kind of want to go through with you guys how I achieve it I don't know if this is of interest to you guys but I feel like because I spent so much time I might as well just film this as a video but we have so many characters here from the 90s characters that I love we've got Johnny Bravo we have Gretchen, Scooby-Doo, Tommy I don't know, leave them down below if you can recognise them. But I wanted to keep them towards the centre of my face. Now for you guys that do artwork here, props to you. I don't know how you do it. Like, I would do it all up to here. I can't see. I can't see past there and it just, like, Gretchen was really, really difficult for me to do. So, I don't know. We're just going to fill in Gerald, I believe his name is. And all you want to do here is just use reference images. I mean, I map out with Max. What do I use? I use Max Brush Brown is what I'm using. And that's what I've used just to map this all. Just to map him out roughly. And then I go in with my block colours. Okay, so I've zoomed you guys in so much so that it's a little bit too close of a comfort. But you can see that I'm using my hand here just as a canvas what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna use block color so we're gonna start off gerard is of gerard gerard is of color so i'm just gonna pop on his skin color then i'm gonna go in with the white and then i'm just gonna fix his hair up with black and put in a little bit of white on his t-shirt as well that's what i'm just gonna quickly go ahead and do So I realised that that colour isn't working for me, I need him to be a little bit darker so I've just gone, going to go in with a little bit of a darker concealer and just go over the top. Once you've got all your block colours in, that just gives you an idea of everything but then it really starts to come together when you add that brush black and start adding the fine detailing. So I'm going to use the black just to add all the characteristics like the eyeballs and outline everything, that's going to really make it look like a cartoon. Then I'm going to use a little bit of the white on a really, really thin brush just to outline the hair because the hair is black and it needs a little bit of an outline just to give it a little bit of depth and definition and that is my final character done right here and filled in i didn't want to show you guys all of the characters because i didn't feel like it was going to be necessary but i didn't even know where this was going but i really really like the end result what i'm going to do now is i really want to fill in my foundation i have no idea how i'm going to do concealer yet but we're just going to run with it and i'm going to try and complete my eyes to create a complete full look for you guys i don't know what i call this it's like i guess it's just a creative cartoon style look <laughs> so just try to make it look like it's not what time is it right now half two in the morning i'm gonna try and put a little bit of the Too faced born this way super coverage multi-use sculpting concealer and i'm gonna put this everywhere that i have a little bit of exposed skin so mainly on my forehead and my nose area and then i'm gonna use this as a little bit of concealer with a tiny brush as well just using a damp beauty blender to blend all of this in i feel like i'll put it in some of the areas that i have some of the gaps if I feel like I need it just on the sides of my face just anywhere that I need it just to create a little bit more of a flawless cover now you guys know just how anal I am about covering these dark circles I hate them so I'm going to try my best just to conceal them using a small brush I don't know how well this is going to work but I'm going to try my best so I'm just going to use that same concealer 
and just pop it underneath and pat away using a really small angled brush. Okay, now I'm gonna use that same concealer again. I'm just gonna highlight my brow bone and go over the whole of my lid with this. Now I did think for a hot minute, do I wanna go in between every single little gap here but if i'm honest i don't think i want to i think that will really disrupt it and i think i've worked too hard to kind of mess it up now so i'm gonna leave that and because i guess my skin's quite clear here i haven't got any blemishes or anything down here i guess it looks like i'm wearing foundation anyway so i'm not that unhappy with that area i think i'm just gonna take a little bit of this concealer down my neck just to blend it all in one now that my base is on, I'm gonna pop on my brows really quickly. So I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade. I'm gonna fill my brows in with this little bad boy. And then I'm just gonna use a little bit of the Anastasia Clear Brow Set and rush that through, rush it through, brush it through, just to get all the brow hairs in place. I want the bra brows to be quite strong because I'm not doing much eye makeup or anything today. So I just want them to be strong. Now, because I'm not doing much to my lids at all, I'm just going to use my Air Spun Loose Face Powder just to quickly set my eyelids in place. Then I'm going to use my Brush Black again just to give myself a quick wing. Now, I like to stick to what I know and what I like, and I like an under eye smoke. It's just because I can see the creases underneath my eyes and I kind of want to disguise that. I still want to look like me, so I'm going to use the Anastasia Novena palette. I'm going to take the colour Eccentric, which is my favourite colour in the palette, and I'm just going to take a small kind of tapered brush and just really smoke out my lower lash line. Now, I don't want to take away from the Cartoon characters, but I do want a little bit of highlight. And I want an inner corner highlight and brow bone highlight. So I'm going to go in to that same palette and take the, cut, the shade Dreamer, which I absolutely love, love, love. And I'm going to pop that into my inner corners, just pat a little bit there. And then just on the brow bone. I'm going to take a little bit of that same shade on a fluffy brush. And I'm just going to highlight the bridge of my nose because I'm a little bit extra. Let's now add a little bit of mascara onto our lashes because we are going to be applying some fake lashes. Now my fake lashes of choice, I know I feel a bit silly doing it like this, do you know that? Because it's not a beauty tutorial, but I wanted to show I guess that I was more than a beauty artist. I don't know, I was just having a bit of fun. But my lashes of choice are of course going to be the Huda Scarlet's because they're big. I don't feel like they're going to hide or disguise the makeup because it's all down here, but I want my lashes and I still want you guys to see like a full glam kind of makeup. So I'm going to pop these bad boys on. Whenever you put lashes on, just make sure that you take like a black gel. This is ugly, so I never like to do it on camera, but just go right underneath and tie dye. Because girl, you need it. Sis, do not do this step, else I'm gonna see all them gaps. Um, I hate me some gaps. And now for lips, I'm just gonna go in with Barry M's lip liner in go to. What I'm gonna do now is, because I've had this on, because this has been in the process of 10 hours, I'm just gonna kinda go over some areas like Chucky's glasses are cracked, just to kinda clean it up a bit. And that, guys, is the finished look. I know that this isn't something that I usually put on my channel, but I just, I wanted to play around, and I thought that it was cool. It's a lot of work, and I just wanted to share it with you guys. That was about it, really. It's not really even a tutorial, but I wanted to keep some bits glam. Let me know down below what you think. If you like videos like this, I guess this is a little bit of a taster, then let me know down below, because then I might just start filming these, so when I feel a little bit creative, I might just set the camera up and show you guys what I'm up to. Let me know who your favourite character is. Let me know if I've missed one out as well. And as per usual, I love you guys so very much. I will see you in my next video. Mwah.